हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेरी गुड इवनिंग वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टैलेंट ट्रेडर्स दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सी पी आर इंडिकेटर एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू क्रिएट दैट कस्टम इंडिकेटर वंस वी क्रिएट दैट कस्टम इंडिकेटर देन वी कैन गोइंग टू फोकस दैट पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रैटजी ओके सो वी हैव टू क्रिएट द स्कैनर्स ऑलरेडी वी कंप्लीटेड अबाउट द सी पी आर लेवल्स सो सी पी आर टी सी एंड बी सी विच वी आर कंप्लीटेड एट दिस मोमेंट सो हाउ टू यूज इट ओके सो वी सॉरी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दिस रेसिस्टेंट वन एंड सपोर्ट सपोर्ट वन सो वी हैव टू क्रिएट एंड देन एस टू एस थ्री आर थ्री आर टू आर थ्री सो वी हैव टू क्रिएट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई टेक इन स्टेप फॉर the r1 and s1 so once we complete that at this r1 and s1 so we can uh, derive this uh, r2 and r3 and s2 and s3 so these are all the important levels on this particular uh, cpr and also previous day high pdh and previous day low pdl so these are all the uh, also important so let me derive this custom indicator on charting and then we can create a n number of strategies with this particular coding okay so support level and resistance level there is a formula to calculate this level so how to calculate that uh, resistance so this is what a uh, r1 on uh, cpr there is a each and every camarilla resistance is the different one and uh, cpr is different one normal pivot is different one so each and every pivot calculation is entirely different in this case the r1 Uh, with uh, camarilla sorry cpr camarilla level is entirely different so r1 we are going to calculate this pivot level already we derived 160.6 that is what the formula so 160.6 multiplied by 2 so minus the low of that particular candle okay so what should be the low so that is what a formula simply uh, we can tell as the formula pivot point okay so Two pivots, maybe uh, two into pivots, okay, minus low. So this is what a formula for a resistance one in Camarilla. Sorry, in CPR. Okay, in support. So we have to calculate the support one. So this is one support. Yes, one. How to we calculate that? Yes, one is nothing about. So here, one sixty point one sixty point six multiplied by two minus I. higher level we have to calculate so manually this is what the formula but if you are doing for each and every stock the manual is not a right thing so then ck 2 into po to plus sorry minus i this is what a support one and this is what a resistance uh, resistance one so we have to simply finding out that level whether it is right or wrong along with this automatic calculation with the Starting uh, scanners. Okay, so simply I just going to create that one. So already created. Uh, we have already one more dashboard which we have created recently in our uh, CPR. Okay, so CPR already we have done that uh, one. So we find out a BCTC closing price. So everything we have calculated previously. So what I am going to do, and I am going to change this one. So add a scanner, uh, not to scanner. So simply we can go for edit. So once I'm going to edit, I'm simply going to add that. So I don't need a closing price, so I remove it. Okay. So we are going to find the levels only. Okay. So once we got the levels, we will go to check whether it is right or wrong. Okay. So in this case, we have to going to add uh, this particular uh, CPR resistance one as a R one. Okay. So let me check whether it is right or wrong. So we have already I have already created that one. So same which we can copy. Uh, support one, okay. CPR support one as a just one, and this as a R one. Okay, so R one may be in the top, and S one may be in the bottom, below to this BC. Okay, and uh, let me run this, and all the levels will be there. Okay, so let me save the scan on the same dashboard. So maybe we can get that levels. Okay, so we find out. So CP central pivot point CPP and BC and TC, uh, BC pivot and TC pivot and then H1 and R1. So we are going to find out some stocks. So we find out is about Ibull Housing Finance. Let me go to check 
I will sorry control F I will that yeah India will also be okay we got at that level for India will also be so the level is 161.43 170.13 so here is the board yes one level okay so support one is about 161.43 and resistance level is about 170.13 if this level is right our coding our uh, custom indicator may be right one so let me check this whether it is going to give you the right chance 171.85 and here in the black line is about 153.8 what is happening here uh, 160 and 162 whether it's right yeah so this level is for tomorrow okay so these are the level which is generated is for tomorrow's level you can check the c the central pivot is about 165 okay so here is about 165 is the central pivot in this case is about 160 so we can go to check uh, tomorrow's level instead of tomorrow's level so you can check tomorrow pivot is about 160.8 166.5 uh, 165.8 what is that uh, india will also increase 65.37 65.37 yeah 35 65.8 64.9 okay 64.9 60 65.7 exactly which are very very narrow in the range okay so this one we find out okay so what about the r1 and s1 that level which generated today is about tomorrow's level that is monday's level so simply we can use one day ago we will be getting that today's values whatever the chart which we can see that will be given you the exact value for today run and see okay same other thing so i'll be going with the another indicator today's level so whether if it is works for a today and we can get for a tomorrow's level very simply okay i think it's working so in this case, uh, control F in double or synchronous 153.43. You can see 153.45, and the higher level is around 171.85. Perfect. We are deriving this S1 and R1. So about today's level, you can check about as our scanner. So S1 is about 153.43, and R1 is about 171.83. Uh, central pivot is nothing about the CPR middle line 150 sorry 160.62 and uh, BC is over to 158.6 and TZ equal to 162.63 so these are all the levels for today okay so let me check whether this level is right on our charts okay which are each are other levels which you are going to check for whether it is right or wrong so here you can see 153.45 is the bottom 153 that is what a support one that's okay and here about 171.85 okay that is also as per uh, thing 160.62 that's also be right 166.63 that is also be right so each and every formula we got it on a right way so we are going to use as a simple way just a second okay perfectly we have derived that cpr level cpr and uh, tc bc r1 and s1 so finally the code is working and based on this we can uh, you simply get that what is the use of the scanner okay so simply whatever the thing which we have to plan so we can use it in this particular uh, scanner alone maybe if i'm going to uh, take this and for example uh, let me create one scanner for an example with this conditions in future stocks I'm just going to select a stock that uh, first 15 minutes, okay, uh, maybe open on first 15 minutes open it must be equal to that equal to means is about a first candle, okay, first 15 minutes candle open is greater than 
सीपी और रेसिस्टेंस वन ओके सो लेट बी सिंपली गो फॉर वन डे गो ओके ओके वन डे गो ओके सेम कंडीशन विच यू कैन गो फॉर क्लोज मज बी लेस देन ओके this will tell us whatever the stock which is opening above to the r1 and closed below the past 15 minutes candle in the futures cadres consumer product which is the stock so let me go for the board non dripping consumer product we can see perfectly we find out the stock the past 15 minutes candle which is open above the r1 and closed below the r1 it is perfectly gap up stock and it was retracing to that level for a cpr I'm waiting for per perfectly it is retraced to the CPR level. Okay, from the top. Same like that we can open, uh, we can get for a yes one like that. So, but it is a sample one, so we can create even n number of scanners and also be a previous D high. Okay, PDH. Okay, so that is also we can create it as a custom indicator. Then we can uh, create n number of scanners on a CPR. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, hit your like button and share to your friends. If you have any other doubts and questions, just comment on the comment box. Thank you for watching and thank you so much.